Hello friends. Today I am going to show you how to fix simulator lag problem. Let's go to the video. Hello. Welcome to my another video. Today I will help you to fix your emulator lag problem so take your time and watch the full video without skip. There are lot of tips and steps to reduce your emulator lag. Also these setting will help you to speed up your Windows system. Ok, let's fix the lag also and make sure to subscribe for more videos. Number 1. Speed up your Windows system. Most of PC players using Windows 7 and 10. Now I am going to tell you speed up settings for both Windows 7 and 10. Also the settings work with other Windows operating systems as well. Here is the easy steps for how to speed up Windows. Step number 1. Enable high performance mode. Go to control panel. Select system and security. Now go to power options, select high performance mode. After that go back to system and security again. Now select system. After that select this advanced system settings and select performance settings. Now select adjust for best performance under the visual effects tab. Hit OK. Step number 2. Speed up your hard disk drives. To do that, go to this PC or my computer. Right click on your hard disk and go to properties. And select hardware tab. Now select your hard disks and click on the properties. Now select this change settings button. Now go to policies tab. After that enable this write caching. Now save the settings. After that go back to hard disk properties and select tools tab. Now select this optimize button under the optimize and defragment drive. After this window appears on the screen, analyze all of your hard disk drives. If your hard disk is fragmented, to fragment it simply clicking on the optimize. One of my hard disk is 7% fragmented. Now select fragmented hard disk and optimize it. After that close this program. Step number 3. Stop background programs and free up more CPU and RAM. To stop that background programs I am using this software called Game Booster. You can download it. From the link in the description. Now open this game booster software. This software help you to stop unnecessary background programs and clear up RAM and CPU for your emulator or game. There is two options for speed up. Option 1. You can add your emulator or game to this game booster simply clicking this add button. Now select game or emulator and press this boost and launch button. Or as the second option you can boost entire PC. To do that, go to switch to boost and click on start boost. Now can open your emulator or game. Here is few more tips. Tip 1. If you going to install emulator don't install to Windows installed hard disk. If you have different hard disk installed to that hard disk like as me. I have installed my all of emulators to a different hard disk. It helps to increase performance. Tip 2. You can download Lite Windows 10. It's a modified Windows version. It's more faster than normal Windows so it's best for gaming. Hey can you give a like and sub, please. Number 2. Settings for your emulator. Step number 1. Select suitable RAM size, CPU cores and resolution. I recommended these settings for low PC emulator users. Set your CPU cores to 2, set your RAM to 2 GB, and set your resolution to 1024 times 768. This is the best resolution for low end PC. Remember, don't forget to check key mappings after you change the resolution.
Step number 2, Android Developer Settings. First you need to enable developer settings. To enable that go to Android Settings. After that go to about tablet or phone, now select build number, click on few times on the build number to enable developer mode, after that go to the developer mode. Now turn on the developer mode, now scroll down, and find hardware accelerated rendering. Now scroll down a little bit again. Enable Force 4X MSAA. Also enable Disable HW Overlays. Let's enable this developer settings on the MSI App Player and other Bluestacks versions. On the MSI and other Bluestacks versions you cannot enable this developer options from the Android settings. You need to go to Play Store and download the developer app. After that go to developer options. Now turn on it. After scroll down and find hardware accelerated rendering. Now scroll down a little bit enable and force 4x MSAA. Also turn on, disable HW overlays, that's all. Number 3, Free Fire Settings. To do that simply go to Free Fire Settings, select Display and change graphics to Smooth Graphics, and change FPS to High FPS. That's all guys, here is some of my gameplay after I set these settings. Here is some gameplay on Clash Squad. Here is some gameplay on the classic mode. There is something I want to say, thank you for all, thanks for supporting me. Thanks for all for these comments. Also this pro asked me for shout out. I hope this video helped you. Consider to subscribe my channel. Give me a like. Also don't forget to comment. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.